In ZBrush 4R8, there is a new lazy snap tool or function in the strokes. So you can go to lazy snap, zero will have no snapping like normal, and 100 will have snapping from a really long distance away. So now as you do line work around a model and you need to move, it'll actually snap to the last stroke that you had. This is extremely useful. Now you can also get far, the, far enough away that it won't snap, um, but you can increase the lazy snap distance as much as you want. This opens up a lot of possibilities for doing line work around a, a model. Something else that's really cool is back in the day when I would do line work, I would have to do it basically in one go because it's hard to snap perfectly back. And if you undid it, it would undo the whole thing. But now I can kind of stop if I need to, and I'm exaggerating obviously, but I can undo parts of it instead of undoing the whole thing. Now there's a chisel brush that's also included in ZBrush that has 3D alphas. This is an extremely clean line tool. I use it, I use it for all my line work now. Um, I usually only use damn standard for uh, kind of organic cloth things. But if I'm going for a mechanical line, I use this and you can see how clean it is. The snapping option will apply to this as well. But you can see that where it snapped, it kind of double indents. So there's a way in ZBrush to make it so that it stays at the same level. You go to Morph Target, and you just store Morph Target. And I just even made it part of my UI because I use it so much now. That as I go, it will actually leave it so that it can't go deeper than the last line stroke. Making, making line work really, really easy and quite powerful. So that's it. Thank you so much for your time. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to our different uh, social medias and like us if you like this video.